AlphaCam 2015 R1 introduces the first integration of module works into AlphaCam. This is an advanced 5-axis toolpath engine that will allow us to machine more as anything that we can conceive. Let's have a demonstration. Advanced 5-axis is an add-in, so we need to go to add-ins macros, add-ins, this will show us the add-ins available to us and the ones that we have switched on. And as I can see here, I've got advanced 5-axis machining switched on. That means if I go to the machine tab and to define a tool, I get this new advanced 5-axis. This is now linking to the module works, which allows me to give a much more comprehensive tool definition. So I'm going to define a ball nose. I'm going to make the diameter 8 and the corner radius of 2. This now comes into my usual AlphaCam tool definition, where my speeds and feeds are set, for example, and my coolant, and I can accept this. Save it away. And now I have a tool ready to use. So the part that we have here is probably more complex than it looks. We've got draft angles at the side and also what I want to do is I want to add a boss and we're cutting it with a bull nose and not a bull nose. So let's select the tool that I've just defined. and I'm going to go to Advanced Surface Machining. So this machine surfaces, but also you can select solid model faces. These are my tool numbers, speeds and feeds, and now I come into the Module Works dialog box. So I'm just going to pick a drive surface, and say OK, and quickly it pulls puts a toolpath on my part for me. The idea here is to apply toolpaths and then edit to perfect. So if I go to my operations pane of my project manager, here I have my operation, I can right click and edit. The first thing I want to change is my step over. So if we keep an eye on the image at the top here, if I change this to 0.25, it gives me an image, and here I've got a better step over. Now what I want to do is sort out these edges, because if I do a simulation and play, we can see that the toolpath is going over the edge. So I'm going to set face colors to help me out. So I'm going to go to Solid Model Utilities, set face color, and change it to this terracotta color. I'm now going to paint faces. Here, here, and here. To the isometric view. So let's go back and edit, and I'm going to do some gouge checking. Which parts of the tool do I want to gouge check with? I want check surfaces. Select those surfaces, and I'm going to say same color faces to get all of them. If I say OK to that, I can see now I'm raising it over the top of those and not gouging into the part. Next thing I want to do 
is take a look at my links. So let's follow the surface. And now we can see we're getting a reasonable toolpath on the part. I've forgotten the boss, so I need to add that. So again, right click, edit, to the gouge check, pick some more. This one, same color faces, finish, update, and my complex toolpath has been added. I now want to undertake a simulation, so go to my Layers tab, open my machine. I'm going to right click and center simulator. So here we have our tool configuration set up. So it's loaded my simulation. If I just zoom in and play. I can see that my simulation of my toolpath is being generated for me. It's moving its way along the cut and soon we'll see the boss starting to appear. Very complex five axis tool paths can be generated. If we have a look at this example, I'm just going to go to my operation tab, look at my first op and edit. And again, just change my step over a little bit. So if I right click simulation and play and speed up. We can see that we're generating a very complex five axis toolpath. This gives us the opportunity in AlphaCam to generate any toolpath on any complex part, even impellers and turbochargers. So, to summarize advanced 5-axis in AlphaCam 2015 R1, it's an add-in from ModuleWorks, so we need to go to the add-ins to switch it on. We have a new tool type definition, advanced 5-axis, and the key to this is to apply toolpaths and edit to perfect.